and then a couple of weeks later they're like uh we're going to do a show do you want to come do the show and that's what when isla white happened and it isla white was for me very surreal um mainly because when i was a, a kiddie in the 80s watching tv right there was this the big thing live aid right yeah yeah and it was huge huge tv and a, a huge international thing and the guy that set it all up and ran it and the face oh. of it was bob Geldof. right and so he was like in his face was imprinted on my in my mind you know and and here i am in front of about thirty thousand people with this face inches from mine going go on aaron go on you can do it go on aaron <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's something <laughs> i was like i can but this is really you know i've got this icon from my youth right in my face shouting at me while i stand center stage in front of thirty thousand people all of whom know this solo better than i mm. <laughs> not all of them a lot of them and yeah I, yeah and you know the geek was not just play the sax mm -hmm. but play the original solo wow yeah again it's a, a trained piece of meat right mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you handled it well yeah 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 it's yeah it's really fun um, looking back, I can see myself counting bars. <laughs> I, had, I had these in-ear monitors in and the mix was horrific and I didn't, I was completely disconnected from the world mm -hmm. and I was just going, shit, have I done that bit? I hope I've done that bit. You know, there's like the, the I, I call it the red mist. It's like the red mist comes down and, and suddenly you can't see clearly and you can't hear clearly. 